Hey guys, Tasha here from Start a School Crochet. This week's Saturday Stitch Explorer tutorial is the French square. This one is so pretty. I got, oops, got a little thing on it. Um, it's really made up of basic stitches. Little, There's a few little, um, these I call puff stitches, but for some reason in their pattern they called them half double crochet three together, which is not because three together is a decrease stitch. So, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy creating this lovely little pattern. Um, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook and you're going to need some yarn. I'm using Sheepies, Sheepies, stone washed <laughs> in the colorway uh, 818. So to start, we're going to do a, either a magic circle or you can chain six and join the chain together. but. I'm going to do a magic circle. So let's do a magic circle. So you, in order to do a magic circle, you want to grab your yarn with your hands like this, wrap it around, kind of cross it over, turn your hand, and then hold that other piece. Then grab, stick your hook in like this, grab it, twist it around, then grab the piece you're holding with your other hand and pull it on through. That creates a really easy way to do a magic circle. And then the tail, just kind of un um, unwind it a little bit. There you go. And so for the first round, we're going to do chain four. And I think I'm going to get a little bit closer. And then you're going to do a double crochet, chain one, 11 times into the ring. And you can do it with your ch with your regular chain or a magic circle, it doesn't matter. So do 11 double crochets with a chain one. So a double crochet, chain one, 11 times. And I'll meet you guys around on the other side. So here I have my 11 and I'm gonna just grab my loose end of the magic circle and just close up that circle and then we're going to join with a slip stitch into the third chain of our chain four. So that's one, two, three. Go ahead and join with a slip stitch into that third chain. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into the next chain. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch into the next chain for this is round two. Then we're going to chain four, I'm sorry, chain two. Then we're going to work a half double crochet cluster into the same space. So you yarn over, insert your hook into the same as the base of your chain, grab a loop and pull it up and you do that two more times. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all your loops on your hook. Oops, uh oh. Let's see if I can get back through there. Yes. Pull back through all your loops on your hook. And then we're going to chain, that completes your half double crochet three cluster. Then we're going to chain two. And we're going to work a half double crochet four cluster in the next chain one space, which is right here. Because our chain four at the beginning of this round included a double crochet plus a chain one. So insert your hook into the chain space, yarn over and pull up. You want to pull it up to the level you're working and then you're going to do that three more times to create four total. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all your loops on your hook like that. And so after we do that, then we're going to chain three and work a treble crochet into the next double crochet. So chain your three and here's our next double. So we're going to work a treble, which is yarn over twice. Insert your hook, which you might have to move these over just a little bit to get into this, the actual stitch. So we're going to work a treble in there. And then we're going to chain three and we're going to half double crochet four together or do our cluster in the next chain one space and then chain two and we're going to do that two times. 
So we're going to do four, so yarn over, insert your hook, pull up, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up. Do that two more times to make four. And then yarn over and pull through all your loops. And actually, I'm going to redo this because I want to show you guys something. Um, when you're doing these clusters after your chain three, it can get a little twisted. So go ahead and hold your stitch and hold your loop to try to keep your um, try to keep it a little bit more stable. Because when you yarn over and pull through like this, it can get twisted. So you don't want to twist your chain too bad. So there we go. We did our half double crochet four. Then we're going to do a chain two. And we're going to do one more of those. So we're going to do that in the next chain one space. Four. And then, after we do that, we're going to do that uh, half double crochet four into the next chain one space again. So I'm going to chain one after that to close out the top of that stitch. Then we're going to work another one into the next chain one space. So I usually chain one after to close out the stitch, which I don't think I mentioned just a second ago, so I apologize for that. So after we do that, we're going to chain three and then we're going to repeat from our treble stitch. So now we're going to work a treble into the double. And that repeats around. So you treble into the double, then you do a chain three, a half double crochet four together. And I would refer to the written pattern for this, for the rest of this. Well, actually, since this is, might be, uh, this is a little more intricate pattern, I think I'm going to go ahead and work through the whole thing with you guys. So we're going to treble one, and then we're going to chain three. And then we're going to work a half double crochet four together in the next chain one space. Oops, and there I twisted it again, so you gotta try not to twist it. Three and four. And then chain one to close out that stitch. And so we're going to do a chain one or chain two. And then we're going to work a half double crochet into the next chain one space, four together. Remember to hold on to that. One, two, three, and four. And then chain one to close it out. So we're going to chain two to close out that repeat, and then we're going to half double crochet four in the next one. See, I guess you can do it either way. You can chain one or pull it all the way through and then chain one. It's up to you. But when I was working them yesterday, I think, I'm just going to pull that one little loop out. See if I can't get it. Oops, nope, I guess that's not going to happen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm going to redo this one. Okay. Okay, so here you can either slip stitch it through there or yarn over and pull up through both or you can do it like the other way that I did it on the other ones but I think this is how I did it for the pattern so I'm gonna have to rewrite that in the pattern 
All right, so we did our three. So as you can see, our little pattern starting to form. There's three clusters, a space, treble, space, three clusters. So our next move after this one is going to be doing a chain three. And then we're gonna do another treble inside this double crochet. To let some more yarn out. And then after our treble, we're gonna chain three and do our half double crochets four together. And we're gonna do three of those total, but yeah, that's how I did it before. So mine's a little off for the other ones, but that's okay. So after the the cluster, we're gonna chain two and then repeat that. Three, four, that's what I did. Makes it easier that way, and it kind of creates a little together. So I guess the first few ones I did a little bit different, and I hope that doesn't throw the pattern off. Let some more yarn out. So here we're gonna chain two and do our cluster again. And after our last cluster, then we do a chain three. Well, actually, since we're coming up towards the end, we're gonna do a chain three. We're gonna stop our repeat. Do a chain three, then we're gonna treble in the next double crochet. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to do a half double crochet four cluster in the next chain one space, just like we, we were doing before. And then to, to end out the row, since we have our two clusters here at the beginning, we're going to do um, a chain two after here, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the half double crochet three cluster from the beginning. So I would follow that up to your stitch there and just do a slip stitch right there. So there you have your first your first round of double crochets and then your second round. And so for round three, this is the final round. To start off, we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna single crochet in the top of the half double crochet cluster, which is basically right below what we just went into. So we're gonna half double crochet, or I mean a uh, single crochet there. And then we're gonna do a chain five picket So you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then for the chain five, we work your stitch right into the bottom of where we're going here. So you're gonna go straight down. You can work into the, the single crochet stitch. You can go through the front, the first two loops if it makes it easier. Then you slip stitch through and that's your chain five picket. So we're gonna chain two after that. We're gonna skip this chain two and one of the clusters. And then we're gonna double crochet five into this space here. So you double crochet. One, two, three, four, my yarn's getting tight. on five. So we have our five double crochet into the chain three space. And then we're gonna treble into this treble. So yarn over twice. 
and this is like before you want to count your chains so one two three so we're going to go into the top of that stitch it just seems like I did mine a little tight okay so we've got our treble then we're going to chain three pick it so right now we're working on this part right here so we've done our five our treble and then we're going to do a chain three picket so chain three and then go straight down into this these two loops of that stitch and just slip stitch through and there's your chain three picket so after the chain three picket then we're going to chain one and double crochet five into the next chain three space Got our one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to chain two. We're going to skip this group of cluster plus the two chains. And then we're going to start repeating again from a single crochet into the top of the next cluster. So go into there and single crochet. Then we're going to chain five, pick it. One, two, three, four, five. Go down to the base of that single crochet and just slip stitch through. There's our next cluster picket or our picket. After we do our picket, we're going to chain one and we're going to. Oops, wait, where am I? I left off chain two, sorry, chain two, then we're going to skip this one and this, and we're going to go into the chain and do five. One, two, three, four, and five. So we've got five. After that, we're going to start repeating because our repeat's already back again. So we're going to do our chain, our treble into the next treble. And then we're going to do a chain three picket. So chain three, go back down to the base of that chain. Pick it through, chain one, and double crochet five into the next chain three space. Okay, so I think you might have that. If not, I can continue going along and we can work it together. Let's work it together because this is a difficult kind of repeat. So, okay, so we did our double crochet five in the next chain three space. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip the cluster and the chain two. And then we're going to do a single crochet into the top of the next cluster, a chain five picket. go down. After you do the two times it's a little easier to remember the repeats but I always forget the little chain ones in between different spots so you might have that problem too. So here we go chain two skip the chain two and one of the groups and work five double crochets. It's one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to do a treble. Oh, chain one first, then a treble. Did I double over twice? Nope, didn't. Okay. 
after the treble we do a chain three picket after chain three picket chain one and then double crochet five into the next chain three space And my yarn getting tight again. Okay, so we have one more repeat to do. And after we do our chain five, we're gonna chain two and then we're gonna skip the cluster and the chain space and work a single crochet into the top of the next cluster. Chain five picket. After the chain five picket, chain two, skip that and, well, skip the chain space and the cluster and then work five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna chain one and treble into the treble Oops. Here we go. One, two, three. Luckily it ripped back pretty easy. Chain one. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. And now we're gonna chain two and then slip stitch. All right, we did it. Check it out. And this one works really great when you block it. So I blocked this one so you can see the difference between the blocked one and the not blocked one. The blocked one, oh, and also the hole in the center, you can go ahead and pull that as tight as you need to. This one's pulled a little bit tighter. They kind of look like little butterflies to me. I think they're really beautiful. What do you guys think? I love it. All right, so if you guys have any questions, sorry about the lengthy lengthiness, the length of this tutorial because um, I figured this was a little bit more difficult, probably best to walk through it with you guys. And um, yeah, so it's really beautiful. Subscribe, hit the little bell button down there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. The full written pattern will be on my blog. And if you sign up for my newsletter, then you'll get notified of all the new stitch tutorials that come out each week. Happy crocheting, everybody.